Today we're looking at Frank Robbins' Johnny Hazard, Volume 2, Newspaper Dailies of uh, 45 through 47, put out by Hermes Press. And Johnny Hazard is this kind of high adventure um, pilot character, basically just gets out of the military, and that's uh, Volume 1 is uh, The War Years. And so this kind of takes off on uh, right when he's discharging from the military, and you've got some uh, interesting high adventure occurring. Now normally Hermes Press has really good uh, introductions here. Um, and in, in this volume it's just a one page intro um, by uh, I think either the owner or uh, CEO or someone high up at Hermes Press. Um, and it's kind of a shame because I've, I've had some other really excellent intros by uh, in some of the, the Hermes Press tomes. So, um, you know, take that for for what it is. Um, it's a short abbreviated introduction, but uh, the action kind of starts quick and uh, it's quite interesting. Um, you know, Johnny Hazard here, he's just discharging uh, from the military along with his friend Admiral and uh, action kind of starts taking place right away. One thing um, that I think, you know, it's it's not any issue with this edition, it's just simply uh, how the author did it is oftentimes, because this is the daily, you know, you're gonna have the Friday strip end and then the Monday strip kind of just repeats basically what had already happened uh, in the previous strip. You know, it takes, you know, a panel or two to do that. Um, it doesn't happen all the time. It seems kind of intermittent. Um, and I guess that was when, uh, you know, the publisher was just putting pressure on, uh, you know, Frank Robbins here to do that or not. Um, this first story, it's really interesting. Uh, it takes place down in uh, French Guiana. And you've got quite the... Uh, the array of cast members. You've got uh, our main character, Johnny Hazard. You've got the Admiral involved. You've got uh, kind of the, the blonde bombshell, Brandy, this kind of um, Nancy Drewish type reporter um, who tags along, uh, sometimes getting herself into trouble, sometimes solving the, the issue for Johnny. Um, it, it's really a a solid thing. As you can see, uh, our work here, it's it's really, you know, pretty well restored. It, it's solid, uh, you know, and, and I think it does a, a good job. And that's how it is for most of the continuities. Um, the continuities change. I think there's really good stories throughout. Um, and uh, there's several, definitely several stories involved, well developed, um, you know, with, with interesting dialogue. Um, but one thing I did have an issue with is while most of the continuities, it's good art um, on some of these later continuities, I don't know if they were trying to rush uh, publication of this book or if they were, you know, simply Frank Robbins at the time didn't really draw the art as well. But we can see here, it's just, it's not as clear like these kind of panels here. It's just not as well done the art on this this final continuity as opposed to say earlier we've got you know cleaner crisper I mean this is you know a really clean crisp panel from uh, you know an earlier continuity compared to kind of at the end it's not as well flushed out and I don't know if that's a restoration issue or if that's just what it was drawn at the time with Frank Robbins but uh, most of the continuities, excellent, excellent art, great story in all of them. And as you can see, um, there's quite a lot of info on, uh, you know, in them. You know, this this first story, it's a good 92 pages. We got 70 pages, 30, and it's really this just this last chapter, uh, Danger a la Carte, that I found the art quality does seem to suffer a bit. Um, but I think. It's it's excellent art, um, excellent story. You know, 
um, well drawn, uh, high action as you can see here. Uh, most of the art, excellent, uh, very well done. It's just a few of the panels at the very last continuity or story just don't seem to be as clean and as crisp. Um, and it might have just been, you know, finding, you know, issues to, to salvage, uh, you know, to finish off the continuities was, was tougher. Um, that's my only gripe with this uh, tome as opposed to the uh, some other ones where the art's not as good. Um, but yeah, art's excellent. Um, just a very sparse, very, very sparse introduction. And the last continuity artwork's somewhat faded. But I think um, the storyline more than makes up for that. And in all the other continuities, really excellent art. I, I'd highly recommend it. If you want this kind of jet-setting pilot, um, that basically enables you to tell so many different stories with really a, a colorful cast of characters. Um, it's well-told stories, um, and I'd, I'd highly recommend it. Here, uh, this character, he's in uh, a couple uh, of the stories, and he's kind of just this rival to Brandy. Um, so, you know, not only does the main character, Johnny Hazard, have foils, all the kind of the minor uh, supporting cast does too. It's just it's it's a really well told story, and uh, even with the few issues I do have uh, with this tome, I'd still uh, highly recommend it. Till next time.